Today, folks, we are going to have a look at this sound. Right, let's have a look at the sound that E and U next to each other make in French, okay? Well, the sound is E. Can you say that? E. But this sound has two sounds. This sounds has two sounds, sorry. These letters together have two sounds, okay? It is either E or E, okay? One of them is close and the other one is more open. So let's hear the close sound E. Can you say that? E. Très bien. Now, to give you some examples, I could say, for example, peu. Can you say that? Peu. And that means little. Okay? Peu. Another one, bleu. Bleu. Okay, that means blue. We know that. Feu. Feu. And that means fire. You can find this as well followed by a consonant. Okay, but again, the sound stays closed, okay? The consonant T, for example, which we do not pronounce in French, is V. Can you say that? V. And that's obviously L, V, Il, V, or On, V, okay? So she wants, he wants, or one wants, okay? V. Another word uh, with the sound closed up is Mieux. Mieux. And that means better. Again, we do not pronounce the X at the end of a French word, okay? De, and that's number two. De, vieux, vieux, and that means old, masculine uh, adjective. Vieux, okay? So can you hear the sound E? Okay, now let me show you the sound for E, which is an open sound. And maybe you will find a pattern and know when to use it. Have a look at this word, couleur, that means color. So we don't say couleur, do we? We say couleur. The sound is certainly more open, okay, and uh, longing, couleur, okay. Here's this one, jeune, jeune, and that means young, jeune. Another one, beurre, beurre, and that's butter. Beurre, veuf, veuf, and that's a, a, a widow, a male widow, is that what we call the veuf? Veuf? Widower. A widower, sorry, a widower, the <laughs> veuf, okay. Thank you, Adam, merci, Adam. Neuf, neuf, and that means new, neuf, okay. Another one, voleur, and that's a thief. Voleur, peur, uh, scared, peur, okay, or fear, okay. Heure, as in what time is it? The hour, une heure, okay. And the last word, fleur. So, do you notice the difference between the sound er or earth and the sound e from feu or from bleu or from uh, peu? Do you hear that? Well, one has a much closer sound than the other. And that occurs, for example, when the sound uh, finishes on the vowel. Okay, so peu and v and f, okay? And the other one occurs when the sound carries on couleur, okay? So we're insisting on the last letter, which is a consonant. Couleur, neuf, jeune, voleur. Okay, now if you put the two together, you, you hear the sound E and E, okay, very differently. Now let me show you a word which has two syllables, okay, where the sound is still E, okay. For example, pleuvoir. Have a look at this, pleuvoir. And that means to rain, okay, to rain, pleuvoir. When conjugated, it becomes il pleut, it is raining, il pleut. Pleu. And we keep the sound E because in pleuvoir it has two syllables, one which is closed up pleu and voir the other one, okay, which is very uh, different from the two, okay, as as in if you were going to say il 
perv, okay, from the verb pouvoir to be able to, the sound changes, okay. Why? Because the sound follows, that follows e, is open. Listen, perv, okay, perv, just like uh, jeune, or couleur, and so on. Now, what I want you to have a look at is this verb. Ding! Pleurer. And that means to cry. Pleurer. Okay? Now, again, just like pleuvoir, we have two different syllables. Pleurer. Pleurer. Can you hear that? The sound is still e, such as peu, such as bleu, such as feu. However, when you conjugate it, it becomes il pleure. Can you hear that? Il pleure. He is crying. Je pleure. I am crying. Okay? So the difference is that in the infinitive, you pronounce the e, e, but when you conjugate it, you pronounce it er. Why? Because it has an open sound at the end. Okay? Just like voleur, thief, just like er, and so on. Okay? Now, there is one exception we need to have a look at, the EU together of the verb to have, past participle, is not pronounced U, E, E, but it's pronounced U, okay? So if you wanted to say he has had, and that's the past participle of avoir, it is il a U, and the sound is not E here, it's U. That's an exception, I just thought I would point this one out. Okay, now let's finish with an example, which is a bit of a mad one. That's all I could come up with. So here we go. Ma jeune sœur qui pleure veut un neuf avec peu de beurre à neuf heures. That's silly, isn't it? But have a look. This is for you to practice your e and your er. Okay, your e and your er. So, ma jeune sœur, okay, here we've got the O, E together, okay, the digraph, which I have done a video on, so please have a look at, uh, at this one. Qui pleure, veut un neuf, here again we have the digraph, O, E, U, avec peu de beurre à neuf heures, okay. And what does that mean? It means my young sister, who is crying, wants an egg with little butter at nine o'clock. Silly. Really silly. Okay. Now, why don't you try to practice, practice, practice your e uh and your e uh sound, okay? I know to you it might be the same, but try to add a, um, a consonant at the end of the e uh sound. And when it's open, it doesn't have two syllables like that. Then the e uh carry on, the earth carry on, the un carry on, okay? And the sound is very different from the closed up e uh from bleu. Does that make sense to you? Okay, that's it for me on the E uh sound. Hope you enjoy that and please leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to know what goes on on Learn French with Alexa. Au revoir, à bientôt. Bisous, bisous. R. 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 Can you feel it? You've got no choice but to say R. Yeah? Out. Et puis la dernière pour moi aussi. Mmh, ouais, mmh. Mmh. <coughs> Ouf. Euh, donc si tu veux m'aimer, euh, appelle. <rire>